Hello everybody, we're going to be talking about the main differences between second year and third year at uni. I've just started my third year. I have made a list of five things, five differences between second year and third year that we're going to be talking about today. Number one is everything is just stepped up a little bit. Third year is a whole different ball game. Third year it feels like the whole thing is just stepped up a notch in terms of intensity, in terms of the amount of deadlines, in terms of how much you are being asked to do. I know personally on my course, um, one of the things that they say is they try to sort of give you so many things um, because that is what the real world is like. You're definitely left to your own devices more than, more than you are in other years. People have said to me, what days have you got off this year on your timetable? I don't really feel like that's relevant in third year. I feel as though uh, your days off aren't really days off anymore. It's your choice whether you want to do something uni related or whether you want to do your own thing. But in my opinion, in my experience, so far my days off have been largely spent working or at least thinking about some of the projects that I'm currently working on at uni. There is lots of work and you have got lots of deadlines to do and to make sure that you've got everything done in time. One of the things that I feel that is important about third year is the fact that it is the last time that you are gonna be free. After you leave uni, you may get a job, you may do a master, something like that. Third year is the last time to just experiment and just and see what you like and see what you don't like and try different things. I don't know what other courses are like, but in my experience, third year is the last time that you get a loose brief for what kind of work you're doing, but you don't have a boss. You're not told, do something this way, do something that way. Third year is the last time that you're gonna be at uni, the last year that you're gonna be at uni. So you wanna make sure that everything counts. You wanna make sure that you make the most of every single second of it, and make sure that you're enjoying what you're doing as well. Another big thing, which I think is one of the most noticeable differences in third year is the fact the tutors feel more like your friends. They're working to try and help me. It doesn't feel like they're lecturing me. It doesn't feel like they're telling me how to do something. Finally, the last thing that I wanna mention, which is a difference between second year or first year and third year, is the fact that in the third year, like I already mentioned, it is your last year at uni. You've gotta be thinking in the background what you may want to do, because personally for me, a lot of my third year work I have tried to relate to what I would like to do after university. Those are the five big differences which I've come up with in terms of what is different in third year in comparison to second year and first year as well. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Make sure you check out the other stuff on Student Life. I know that Shannon is doing a blog post about the exact same topic, so it'll be interesting to see what her opinion is in terms of the differences in third year in comparison to second year and first year. Obviously, she may have some different opinions to me, so make sure you go check out that blog post. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you very soon here on Student Life. Goodbye everybody.